more tipper truck parts. Hey, it's Jabbo. Welcome to Brigazar, your home of the world's largest tipper truck army. It's not necessary and everybody can buy tippers. They're, they're not rare, <laughs> but they, they might be when I get done with this. So I'm gonna update some of the progress on growing that even more. I really need to get focused on doing other things. Uh, I was in the middle of counting what I had and I got called out for work. And so I'm just back now and I'm back and I'm, I'm trying to get back to doing something. I got to do some stuff with the BrickLink store and all, but I'm just going to walk through some of the things that I'm working on here in the basement. So I was asked if uh, So Stupid could have the strap go under his arm instead of over, and I did that. Uh, don't complain though, because it was so stupid. He doesn't know how to hold a guitar. Neither do I. This is my container of parts for the tipper truck. And I've been working on acquiring more parts, if you can believe that, as we've been working for a ridiculous goal. I haven't done anything with the yellow ones yet. And this is all stuff I got to finish uh, putting away in, in my store, but I made a list of things that I've ordered. <laughs> uh, this is pending, you know, if the order is accurate. Sometimes I've been getting parts that are broken. I want to thank DNA Bricks who uh, made an offer on some 4x10 plates. So these are the 4x10 plates. I got about 124 or 5 of them or something, 100, over 120. Uh, only got 18 tippers on order, but we got a lot. So only got 46 windshields on order. Uh, we got, oh my goodness, 253. We are close to having all the headlight bricks we'll need to get to 1,000. Uh, we 447 uh, headlight, uh, two dualies. That's, yeah, I'm going to need to order more dualies and even probably some more singles. 157 on order. 500 1x4s. So that's enough to build 250 trucks. Man, I should have bought more. 121 by 2 yellow bricks. I, I didn't have not ordered any of the 2x4s or 2x2. Two two. All these really are so common that I can, I can get these. Everything up here is the stuff that's harder to get. So I'm trying to keep a list of what I got. I still need to count the things that I've already have in stock, but I want this to get to 1,000. We're just working towards 1,000. We have 535 built. So to get to 1,000, that's 465 more. Uh, so, working on it. I literally just knocked that over. That is like the second time I've knocked that container over. It doesn't have a lid. I was trying to get over here where the, the instructions are. Hey, Charlie, you come to see what all the commotion is? So I picked everything up. Well, most of it. I'm going to... Since this is actually the second time I've dumped this, <laughs> I'm going to dump everything in here. Well, most everything. All right, so that has been a problem. Out of sight now. I think this is one of those containers I got from a bulk lot or something that didn't have a lid, so I can use this for something else. All right, so I've grouped the instructions in 1,000 lots. I mean, lots of <laughs> the 1,000. Like this box is the 5,000s. Um, this is the 9,000s. So they're not numerically in order from there. Um, so I've got like Z, the less than a thousands and the thousands to two thousands, the thirty, the three thousands, four thousands, five thousands, like that. So that's temporarily until I get other containers. These are oh, this one's turned around backwards. Yeah, ten thousand to twenty thousand. So these are when you get into the five digits. And I got three boxes of those, and then the other box. Down here is the 70,000. 70,000 seems to be the most popular number because it's all those big instructions for the big UCS Star Wars sets, the Marvel sets. So, yeah, I got three 
of the half size magazine comic book boxes. I got these priority mail boxes that I'm using temporarily. I'm gonna buy some more of these, I think. It'd be nice if I could just slide these on a shelf. Like, I don't know how many, I have to experiment how many would fit on a shelf. Uh, I could probably just do one shelf and have all of the instructions in boxes like this. We'll just have to find somewhere, something to do with the Thomas and Friends stuff since uh, these three shelves is pretty much <laughs> mostly Thomas and Friends. So I was uh, sitting over here trying to decide what to do in this back area of the basement and I found this, I'm sitting on top of this Lobo comic. <laughs> uh, this is a list I made a while back of sets. It says sets I owned as a kid. <laughs> so these are ones that I was pretty sure I had as a kid, you know, there's the tipper truck. Um, so, and some of these I wasn't sure of the number. I, I know it would be the U.S. version. But this one, this, where is it? The set 220 odd, 221 Ideal Book Number 1. I have something I want to do with that one. And it's, I want to make some of the mocks, or not mocks, but some of the ideas uh, that are in there. I, be, I, be, I better stop filming before I break something else, so... <laughs> Uh, I did do a check, and that Lego Ideal Book that I'm talking about, the uh, 221 Ideal Book 1, I found another copy of it when I was sorting through the instructions, not my original one. I did a I almost started to do a video on that today, that Ideal Book, and I said, you know what, I think I've done this one before, because that's one I had as a kid, and I actually have the original copy of the one I had as a kid, and I did. I, I did do a video, so I'll try to remember to put a link uh, to that somewhere, I don't know where the down, blow up, I don't know, because I, I really want to tr start trying to build some of the builds that are in that Lego idea book, so if you want to see my thoughts on it years ago, I don't even know what I said, I didn't go back and watch the video, but I did a video on it, and I will be doing more, and I'm thinking of actually making, like, you know, this year, 2021, it was the year of the tipper truck, growing the tipper truck army, building the UCS tipper truck, Thinking what I'll do next year is Lego Idea Book 221, number one. It says 221 on one side, one on the other. You know, make up your mind. How many Lego Idea Books number one have they done? Like six? I don't know. So, but I think it's, it's that Idea Book, since it's in the era of the mid-70s when I was getting into Lego as a kid, it's the Idea Book that I looked at the most as a kid it's the one that i wanted to build some of the the builds in there but couldn't as a kid because the sets weren't available that had the parts and we couldn't afford the thing so i don't even know if i ever built anything that's in that i think i might have tried maybe some of the small builds i did i don't really remember i just remember looking at it and say i want to build that but i can't find the parts to it <laughs> and so i think that's what 2022 will be will be the, you know, I should have done 21 since it's ideal book 221. But anyway, it doesn't matter. So that's the goal. The Lego ideal book number one or 221 from the mid 70s. I want to start trying to build some of those. So it'd be, uh, do I have the parts? Do I need to buy the parts? And the interesting thing about this is it's going to be those parts from the mid 70s. So like with this tipper truck thing, I usually it was going to, and buying specific parts. This will be using more common parts. Now there will be some special printed parts I'll need to get, so I'll, I'll either need to find those in my collection or special order them. But since a lot of it's common parts, so instead of buying uh, the individual pieces on BrickLink, I might end up having to get bulk lots, like looking on eBay for bulk lots. It's, you know, a vintage Lego lot that's got a lot of pieces and base plates and just buy that so I'll have the parts uh, so that's, I think that's the goal tell me what you think uh, check the video out of that ideal book it's that's my childhood and I'll be back tomorrow in a different shirt that's not Bears Beats and Battlestar Galactica I need to get that shirt do I have a Bears Beats Battlestar Galactica shirt I don't know this is Shroot Farms I've never been here it's a good place. I think it's fictional. <laughs>